Hi y'all, I'm Tiffany of Tip Stitch and today I'm bringing you a really short hopefully video on my spring pattern and fabric haul. Um, I don't usually do these because I've been trying to stick to my self-imposed fabric fast here uh, for the last little while, uh, probably late 2017 to now. Um, if you saw my fabric storage behind the camera, you'd agree that I don't need any more fabric. Um, same thing with patterns. I have quite a collection of patterns now. I'm trying to de-stash which ones I'm really never going to use. So you may see me having a sale on my Facebook page or my blog page in about a month or so once I can finish going through all of those, what I might use, what I might not use. But um, I've also been trying to just learn how to modify patterns, draft changes to my own patterns. Um, because lots of times when I see a new pattern that really catches my eye, it's just a tweak of another pattern or I can take a bodice from one pattern and a uh, skirt or pant from another pattern and put it together. So uh, I haven't been doing as many patterns, especially the big four patterns. I've been buying a few indie patterns here and there or PDF online patterns here and there. Um, but Jumlands had a really big sale if you're here in the U.S. where almost all the patterns were on sale and I broke. So they had calls on sale for $1.99, Butterick I think a couple of days later for $1.99, Simplicity for just $0.99, cents, Vogue's for $4.99, Berta for $2.49 and they hardly ever go on sale. Um, and they also had I think Quick Sew or New Look on sale for $3.99. So it was almost all the pattern companies had a, a sale right before Easter. So I broke down and I bought a few. Um, I want to give a shout out to Legendar Rogue because she purchased me two McCall's patterns from her local store or a store close to her because my Joann's was already out by the second day of the sale when I went to go try to grab mine. So let me start with the ones that she grabbed for me. I'm so thankful. Is um, The first one is McCall's 7745. And this is the sort of cold shoulder, off the shoulder wrap dress with the ruffle and the high low hem or the maxi hem. Um, there's a shorter version there's more of a midi version as well um, i really like this i think it's cute i already think i'm probably going to make two of these views but i'm going to do a whole nother video on my spring sewing plan so i won't go into a lot of detail about that and that one i'll show you the fabric i plan to use and everything else i also had to have mccall 7757 even though my body is not ready for 7757 this is the really cute sort of 70s look crop top with the wide, not bell bottom, just sort of like wide flared pants. Um, I just think this is adorable and it screams spring, it screams summer. I really like the look. Now, like I said, my abs are not ready, so I won't be making it a crop top. I'm either going to make it long enough that it touches the top of the pants or I'll possibly attach it and make a jumpsuit out of it. Um, it depends on how I feel when I get around to making it. but. Two pieces would probably be easier to get in and out of, plus I could break it up, but I really like jumpsuits, so that may happen. Now, the one that I was able to find in my store of the early, of the actual spring, not early spring collection of McCall's was a McCall 7755. Now, like I said before, I've been trying to do better about modifying and reusing and adapting the patterns that I have. And McCall's has a very similar pattern to this 7405 that's an easy to learn, uh, easy, oops, sorry, learn to sew for fun dress uh, pattern as well, but that one's a dress. So, but it has the same sort of neckline and halter neck tie closure. So I was gonna try to take that one and just adapt it into pants, but for $1.99, and it was the only one they had in my store, I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, it'll save me the time of having to redraft it myself. So I'll be making that probably the shorts and the pants view of this one, the pants sort of for spring, the shorts probably for summer. I also don't remember if I grabbed this in my latest pattern haul or if I grabbed this right after the early spring McCall's patterns came out. Either way, this is McCall 7711. I really like this pattern because it's one of those easy breezy quick sew, or at least it looks like it. It's a learn to sew for fun pattern as well, so it should be. Um, and this one gives you a couple of different views, a high low hem, nice little ruffle sleeves, no sleeve, a collar, no collar sort of band. but. A really simple sort of looking easy dress. Another one that I probably could have drafted if I really wanted to. But it just is like an easy breezy cool dress to wear in the spring and the summer. So I grabbed it as well. And like I said, Berta was on sale and they don't go on sale often. And Miss Socialite, if you follow my blog, you know my little stepdaughter loves um, jumpsuits. So this Berta pattern is for her. It's 9345. It's a Berta kids pattern, of course. And it's just a really cute jumpsuit with sort of like a t-shirt top. 
attached to some slightly jogger-ish pants. It also has a short view, so she's over dresses. We've hit that phase. Dresses are not fun. They're too girly. They're too whatever. So only jumpsuits for her now. So that's what this one's for. I also grabbed Berta 6439, which I think I looked at a while back and got excited and bought this go round um, because they were on sale. Um, but then I looked in my stash and realized I had Vogue 9021, which is sort of very similar in the sort of Dolman Batman sleeve dress setup is this one. I know that Vogue pattern had a lot of reviews on patternreview.com about the arm cycles being too low and being able to see through uh, and see your bra. And so people were either raising that or wearing a camisole under it or things of that nature. Um, and maybe that's why in the back of my mind I still needed this one. I'm not sure. This one may go back because I'm trying to do better and they're pretty much duplicate patterns. So we'll see, but it is a, it is a really cute dress. I really don't need this one either because I have way too many pants patterns and I very rarely sew pants. But this is Berta 6470. I liked it because they were a nice wide leg pant with a welt pocket on the back, which is a task I still haven't tackled. Um, and it had the option of doing either ribbons on the side or piping along the side seam of the wide leg pant, which just looked really cute. Now, I know, I could have just added piping to the side seam of any pant pattern that I have. And I have a Vogue wide pant pattern. I even have a Mimi G Simplicity. I don't remember what pattern number that is. Uh, I don't remember what pattern that is. Wide leg crop pant pattern. And I could probably just add a few more inches to it and it would be very similar. Um, but this one had a front fly and I think the two pairs I'm thinking of have a side zip. So I sort of made it up in my mind that it was different enough to warrant getting it. But anyway, it was $2.49 so I grabbed it. Simplicities were on sale for 99 cents, like I mentioned, but there was only one Simplicity pattern that I thought to grab, and this is for Miss Socialite as well. Um, it's just a really cute top and legging patterns, and I have plenty of legging patterns for her and other Simplicity patterns mostly, um, plus I can just draft it for the leggings that she has, but the little top was cute, um, and for 99 cents it was worth me not to have to draft the top, so I bought it, and this is Simplicity 8566. Now this Vogue pattern I've been wanting since the early Vogue patterns came out or were released, but I cannot find it again at my Joann's for the life of me. Anytime they went on sale, and sometimes when I checked, when they weren't on sale, it still wasn't there. But finally, this time, it was there. And this is Vogue, uh, Vogue 9298. This is the Supplies Pleated Bodysuit Pattern. Yes, you have the option of doing the no sleeves, um, sort of the short sleeves, which I would never do, and the long sleeve. So this will be going all year round for me as soon as I get a chance to whip it up. So definitely have been waiting for this pattern. It is already cut and ready to go. Um, I also ordered a pattern from eBay or Etsy, I think eBay, that I happened to run across um, online, I think on Pinterest. You know, you're just digging through Pinterest, it gives you suggestions. And I saw the line drawing for this pattern and thought, oh my God, that's so cute. I would definitely make that for the summer. Um, I posted in the McCall's Facebook group, like who knows what pattern number this is. And thankfully somebody uh, there was very helpful and told me what pattern number it was. And it ended up being um, McCall 6362. And it's not really cute when I actually saw the pattern envelope. Um, it's not something that would have caught my eye, but it's another romper pattern or jumpsuit pattern. And it just was so cute when I looked at the line drawing. I feel like I can make it out of wovens or knits. I already like jumpsuits, we know that, so it spoke to me. I actually like all of the views from this pattern. Um, they have like side cargo pockets on a couple of the views. Um, they also have the, I don't know what they're called, not inseam pockets, but sort of the front a pocket with the facing as well. Um, I don't know. It's a little retro. It's not very cute on the pattern cover, but I really think I can make something cute out of this pattern. And this is McCall 6362. Uh, it is out of print, which is why I had to go to eBay to buy it. Um, but I was able to find it and there are a couple more out there if anybody else is interested. Okay, so that's all that I did as far as, well, Joann's and the, Etsy, the eBay buy. I also grabbed a couple of patterns when Fabric Mart was having a sale. So let's go over those real quick. They were having a 25 cent pattern sale. Now, 
it was a very selected, uh, limited selection of patterns that you could choose from, but for 25 cents, why not? Um, I was already placing an order anyway, which we'll get to in a second. However, with this one, um, I grabbed the Simplicity 1804, which I believe is out of print as well. But again, for a quarter, it was cute. I have enough maxi dresses, I really do. Uh, maxi dresses actually already sewn in maxi dress patterns, but I love them and they're just a great item to wear, I think spring to fall. Like, so for three seasons out of the year, I can just throw on a maxi dress I feel and be comfortable. Maybe throw on a jacket in the spring and fall, but it's an easy piece to make. They also have a view that has sleeves, so I feel like that extends it even a little bit further. Um, and it sort of looks like a knit calfskin, one of the views, which is what sparked my interest. And to be honest, it was 25 cents. So that was all the reason I needed. Um, I also bought this jeans pattern that I don't think is out of print, but it's quite old from McCall's, which is 6610. And it is a Missy's and Miss Petite jean pattern. Yeah, it comes with a fitted straight and bootleg view. Um, and I've been saying for the longest time that I'm going to make jeans. I have both of Mimi G jeans patterns. I have uh, the ginger jean patterns from Closet Cased. I have stretch denim. I have a denim fly uh, zippers. Uh, I haven't bought rivets and buttons yet, but I have everything pretty much that I need to get started on my jeans and I just haven't. So hopefully um, I will get on that soon and I can test all of them and see which ones work the best. But again, for 25 cents, it was just worth a try. So those are all the patterns that I bought this spring or spring patterns that I purchased. So now let's get into the fabric. Um, some of you know if you follow me that I do a monthly guest post with Fabric Mart's blog, Fabricistas. And so I already have to sort of get new fabric once a month to make that piece. And what I'm making this month for April is going to be out of this beautiful white linen. If you've never ordered Fabric Mart's linen, shame on you, no. But um, it is really nice linen. They call it their designer linen collection. And it comes in several shades. I think probably about 20 different colors. It's quite a few. Um, but I bought this white that is nice. It has a nice stiffness to it. Uh, they put in the notes that if you want to keep this stiffness that you'll need to have it dry clean. But if you want that worn linen look that sort of looks relaxed, you can wash it and it's fine. And I like anything that I can wash because I don't like taking anything to the dry cleaners. I've actually used this linen before. Sadly, I used white the first time too for a dress that I made maybe two years ago. Um, and I really love that dress. I still wear it. It's beautiful. Um, but this fabric is great. It feels great. It has a nice weight. It's sheer. Sheer is not the right word. It's definitely opaque. You don't need to line it, even in the whites. The first dress I made, I did line the bodice, but that was more for construction than it was for necessity. Um, but the skirt on that one, I didn't line. There weren't any pockets, so there are very few seams. Um, and for this, I'm actually planning on making um, a dress that is a copycat of a Urban Outfitters dress that Mimi G wore on her Instagram and on her blog as one of her just looks of the day. And I loved it so much, I'm gonna recreate that dress. But like I said, I'll do another video on all my plans. But that is why I bought this white fabric that isn't too exciting to look at on camera, but it is a great quality linen, 100% linen. Um, so the real reason I got in trouble at Fabric Mart while the patterns got purchased and everything else is because they were having a $1 a yard sale on their pre-cut fabrics. Yeah. A dollar a yard. If you're not on that e on their email list, you definitely need to get on it. How can you pass up fabric for a dollar a yard? Um, and I'm a knits girl. If you follow me, you know that. I like everything knits. And this is a diagonal stripe fabric. Um, I might be holding it wrong so you can't see this diagonal. There we go. It's a diagonal stripe fabric. Um, and I just sort of like abstract things. And I liked all the colors in it. I like the sort of muted turquoise the sage green, the beige, the navy, and sort of the maroon color. Um, I don't know how well the diagonals are gonna work, but I just plan on making maybe a maxi dress with this, so I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I really liked this. It was four yards and it was a dollar a yard. So four dollars for four yards of this ITY fabric. So that was a great buy that I grabbed. I also grabbed this sort of abstract floral, it actually looks more like fall colors here. 
um, than summertime, but it is a pretty vibrant pink and orange in there. It just has more of a more muted tan and brown background. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make with this, but it's probably gonna be a dress. I do really like it. It feels really great. There were two and seven eighths yards of this, I believe, in that cut. So I paid $3 for this whole piece. There's a dollar a yard. Um, and I really like it. It's some type of woven um, polyester crepe or chiffon. Uh, it told me when I ordered, but it feels really great. I really like grabbing the pre-cuts from Fabric Mart when they have them because they almost always go on sale. And um, that gives me a limited amount to just decide what I'm going to do my project with. Like if I have three yards, I just have to find something that takes three yards. This is a blue abstract sort of print fabric in different shades of blue. I like it. Um, I like blue. I like geometric prints. I like that it repeats. It looks sort of like a Aztec sort of print maybe. Um, I'm not really sure what this is going to be either, but I have three or four yards of this, so I either paid three or four dollars for it. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. I actually bought one more piece of fabric, which was a black and white medallion fabric that I can't seem to find. It's lost somewhere here in my sewing room, and I really wanted to get this video done today, so I didn't want to tear up the whole room and waste the whole day looking for it, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, it is actually my least favorite piece from this purchase and I'm hardly ever disappointed with the fabric that I purchased from Fabric Mart. It was just stiffer than I intended it to be. This has a nice drape and flow. The floral that I showed you prior to this had a nice drape and flow. The knit of course had nice drape. Um, but this other one was a rayon woven. It just didn't have a, as nice of a hand as some of the other uh, fabrics did. I'm still going to use it. Um, and again I only paid a dollar a yard for it so I'm not that devastated um but i didn't care for it as much which might be why i lost it i don't know and then i just have one more uh fabric piece to show you and this is from a local store that i just finally visited i knew it was there but i finally visited um for anyone who lives in atlanta if you live in the decatur area or near the decatur area or go to the decatur area there's a store there called top stitch which of course caught my eye because i'm tip stitched um but i kept riding by um when i was going to the square uh, for festivals and different kind of things like that and would notice the sign but it would either be closed or i'd be on my way to go somewhere and uh, i wouldn't stop in so i finally stopped in and there's some really nice ladies that work there they have studios so they do sewing lessons they have sip and sews on wednesday nights i believe they have a lot of stuff going on but they're also a fabric store they sell a great selection of independent patterns as well um, so if you've always wanted to buy a closet case pattern or um, um, who makes the Ogden cami, the different independent designers, they carry and you could save yourself the cost of shipping because you could just pick it up from there. But anyway, while I was there looking for nothing in particular really, I was just stopping in to give them a check out. I noticed this fabric on the bolt and I had to have it on this side. It looks just like a denim chambray, right? Like a nice weight, medium wash sort of denim chambray. But on the other side, it's this lovely denim stripe fabric. Oh, I love stripes. I love stripes until it's time to sew with them and then I'm not so excited about stripes, but when I buy it, I'm always so happy. So this is a nice vertical stripe. It's denim and sort of a cream color stripe. And then the other side is just the 100, you know, solid denim, which just feels awesome. It's cotton fabric. And I think technically it's almost a double cloth because it's not just double sided. It's not printed on one side. It's literally two pieces. Let me get closer to the camera, see if I can get it to focus. It's actually two pieces of fabric together, but it does actually stitch together. Like I can't pull it apart there's little stitching in there that's holding it together so it's double cloth I believe it's the stripes on one side and the 100% denim on the other side I absolutely love this fabric and it actually goes this way because they're vertical stripes but I absolutely love this fabric it's a nice weight I love denim I love stripes I love it so I saw it left the store tried to talk myself out of it and probably like three days later 
when I had an opportunity to be back in the area, I stopped back in and um, and had to purchase it. I actually got the last three yards. So why am I telling you all this? She says she can reorder. Um, and they do have a site, which is Top Stitched Atlanta or ATL.com. So if you like it, you can order it from there as well. Um, she said she thinks they'll be able to get it back in stock. So I was very happy to get the last, I think, three yards. And my plan with this is to make something reversible. Because one, I love making reversible pieces. If you follow me for any time, you probably know that. Um, but if not, that's that's the fact about me. I like making reversible garments. And I mean, what screams reversible garment more than two-sided fabric? I mean, it's just awesome. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a dress or a tunic or a skirt or what. But it's definitely going to be something reversible because I just want to show off both sides of this fabric. So that's all. I got one, two, three, four, five, mm, six set, mm, six pieces of fabric and several patterns. So that's my spring haul. Come back hopefully in about a week. I'm going to do my video on what my plans are for some of these patterns and for some of these fabrics. See you later.